Okay, some viewers have reported that even with what we put in the part three of this zero logon uh, videos, you're still getting some false positives. Let's see if we can knock this one down. I'm, and by the way, thank you very much to all of you who have uh, provided the comments. And my apologies for not having uh, an Active Directory system, a real one, this is a lab, with enough data to test this out. But uh, here we go. So if we look at one of the events that we get in it, I, I did Control F and look for the word computer. The important thing here is that if this action, that the password has been changed and, and all these things happens on a computer, which name is the name of your domain controller, then this is a real thing. Everything else is a false positive. And that's, I think that those are the false positives that you guys are seeing out there. So as you can see in my system, I have two custom properties. One is called custom name and the other one is called log source host name which has the name of the machine where these things happen. So the unfortunate part is that you will need to tailor this rule to your specific environment in two ways. As I, as I show in the part three of the video, you need to, if you don't have it already, you need to strike a custom property that extracts this. And I have put the regex in the same file that I mentioned in part three of the video. So you don't have to worry about the regex. It's a simple one anyway. Uh, and the other thing that you need to do is actually modify the rule. Here is the rule. Let me actually click on it. And at that fourth condition, that basically is going to test out if this is not your domain controller, then this rule will not fire. Notice that it is in here. Again, my custom property is called log source, log source host name. Use will be whatever you want. And uh, and then you need to put in here the actual name of your domain controller. So in other words, this should not give you a false positive because if this password chain happens in the domain controller itself, then this should be uh, 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 an indication of the zero logon. Uh, and I think that this is uh, also a good, my apologies again for not getting it right at the, at the first time, but I think that this is a good way of really knowing how to deal with false positives. Sometimes it requires uh, more than one iteration to do so.